Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert an improper fraction to a mixed number. Uh, first of all, we have to do a really quick review of what, a, um, uh, what an improper fraction is uh, so that you understand the difference between an improper fraction and a proper fraction. Right, um, this is an improper fraction. We know that the numerator is here and the denominator is here. Okay, in an improper fraction, the numerator is larger than the denominator. In a proper fraction, we would have the numerator being smaller than the denominator. Okay, so that's uh, how you can tell the difference. So if the numerator is ever larger than the denominator, you know that it is an improper fraction. And what we're going to do in this video is show you how to turn uh, an improper fraction into a mixed number. If you're looking at a proper fraction, you never have to change it into a mixed number. Okay, You, you cannot change a proper fraction into a mixed number. All right, A mixed number is a number which looks like this, where the large number, the, the number that's written in uh, quite big, is the whole number. Okay, so it's a whole number. Okay, and this part here obviously is the fraction. And you'll notice that when we have a mixed number, we have the whole number here, and the fraction that we have is always a proper fraction. Okay, the numerator is smaller than the denominator. All right, that's why you can never have uh, a proper fraction being turned into a mixed number because you just can't do it. Okay, so we are going to take this improper fraction or these improper fractions here, and we're going to change them into mixed numbers and it's actually quite easy. All you need to do is we draw our equal sign and a fraction. Okay, we look at the denominator and say, right, we have the digit 4 here, and we have the number 9 here. We just say, how many sets of 4 will go into 9? All right, so um, how many sets of 4 go into the number 9 evenly? Okay, well, we can say that that's 2, all right, so 2 times 4 is 8, but we want to go to 9, so how much more do we have to add? We have to add 1, okay, and we keep the, the denominator the same, so we have 2 and 1 quarter, all right? Um, if we wanted to change this back, if let's suppose we had 2 and 1 quarter, uh, and we wanted to find out what it would be as an improper fraction, well, that's also quite easy. All you do is you take the whole number, you multiply it by the denominator, so 2 times 4, and you add the 1. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. That goes on the top as the, as the numerator, and we keep the denominator the same. Okay, so there we go. We're right back to where we started. Okay, so let's uh, just draw a squiggly line. Okay, so let's do 11 over 3, or 11 thirds. Again, we say how many sets of 3 can go into 11? All right, so uh, we can do that 3 times. And 3 times 3 is 9, so that means we would have to add on 2. All right, and we keep the denominator the same, so it's 3 and 3, sorry, 3 and 2 thirds. Okay, and to change that back to an improper fraction, we just take this number and we multiply it by that number, and then we add this. So 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11 over 3. We keep the denominator the same. All right, let's try another one. How many sets of 4? go into 15, uh, that's 3, 
3 times 4 is 12. We would have to add on 3 more to get to 15 because we're trying to get to 15. So we add on 3 more and we keep the denominators the same. All right. And again, moving it back, it would be 3, sorry, 4 times 3 is 12 plus 3 is 15 over 4. All right. Okay, so um, why don't you try working out these improper fractions and changing them to mixed numbers? Why don't you try 8 thirds, 11 fourths, and 23 sevenths. Okay? So pause the video, work these out, see how you do, and then start the video again and we'll see how we work them out. Okay, so we've got 8 thirds, 11 quarters, or 11 fourths, and 23 sevenths. What you should have done is you should have said, right, how many sets of 3 go into 8? Well, it can't be 3 sets because 3 sets would be 9. 9 is too much, okay? So it would have to be 2. 2 times 3 is 6, okay, that's good. And we have 2 left over, okay, 2 over 3. So 2 and 2 thirds, all right? And to change it back to an improper fraction, if we had to do that, we just take the 3, we multiply it by this 2, and then we add this 2. So 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8 over 3. Okay? So let's look at this one. How many sets of 4 go into 11? Well, it might help you if you, if you're not very good in, with your multiplication tables, it might help you if you just wrote out the multiples of the times table for the denominator. So 4, 8, 12. All right, so 12, we're already bigger than 11, so we can't do 12. So it would have to be 8, okay? So the closest we can get to 11 is 8, and we did that by multiplying this by, by 2, okay? So 2 times 4 is 8, okay? And we want to get to 11, so we would have to add on 3, and we put that over 4 again, so it's 2 and 3 quarters, all right? And again, moving back to the improper fraction, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11 over 4, all right? And this one, let's uh, if we write out the 7 times table, 14... 21, 28, okay, so 28, we're too big, we can't go over 23, so we can't use that one, okay? So, what's the closest we can get to 23 without going over? 21, okay, and we got 21 by multiplying 7 by 3, okay, so 3 times 7 is 21, we want 23, so we have to add on 2 more, and we keep it over 7, so it's 3 and 2 sevenths. And to change it back again, 7 times 3 is 21, plus 2, 23 over 7. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.